the sky, your soulful progressive with FNN, Feminist News Network, that Feminist News that's right for you. Welcome to Sky in the Avapui Room, giving you that soulful news you need, yes indeed. And if you haven't told a friend to like and subscribe and give it that soulful ways today, you better let them know, honey, it's on their way. I know that's right. So, what is it I want to talk to you about today? What is going on? I have breaking, breaking news. The mayor of Louisville, Kentucky, Greg Fisher, has announced today on Juneteenth, during a day of celebration for all ADOS in America, that the officer Brett Hackinson, that fatally shot Breonna Taylor three months ago with a no-knock warrant, will be fired. The De Louisville De Metro Police Department Chief, Rob Schroeder, said that they were initiating termination procedures against him now. Good. They need to do that. So, what is really going on? Beyonce sent an open letter to Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron on Sunday demanding justice for Breonna Taylor and admonishing the top prosecutor for not taking action against the police officers who killed the 27-year-old in her home three months ago. Now, they passed Breonna Law with a no-knock warrant, but she told him this is his chance to end the pattern. The pattern of what? Abuse? Injustice? Because what we need now is maximum justice for Breonna Taylor. We need more than him being fired, but we need him to be arrested. We have a systemic police force within that community in Louisville, Kentucky, that think it's open season to do whatever they want and get away with it when it comes to African American lives. And we need to stop that now. And Cameron needs to do it. He needs not to be just a figurehead but he needs to become a leader. Now, if you agree with me that Beyonce's push led to the firing of this man, which is obvious because now what we need to realize is that if you're going to use your celebrity culture to take action, you need to round up the other black celebrities to take action too. And I don't mean by lip but also financially because Black Lives Matter could really use it while they're being co-opted by the elites of the Democratic Party. Don't allow it. Don't allow it. Now, Prince, be right before he died, was planning on giving BLM a million dollars. Who's ready to match him? That's what I'm saying. Don't talk the talk until you're ready to walk the walk. Now, if you agree with that, you leave your comments below because, honey, you already know. Mm -hmm. Let me know at feministnewsm at gmail.com. Don't forget to like or subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. And remember, I'm that so progress one on Twitter. Got that rant of the day on blogger. And I am that one woman team. That one woman team. So remember to... Uh, if you want to donate, I'm no longer doing PayPal, so send me an email and I'll send you the P.O. box. Alright, so remember, in this era of hate, you got to participate, because if you don't... So, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace. Looking toward the brightest side.